Hi there, well let's take a look at Tron. Tron's TRX is now available on cryptocurrency exchange KuCoin and Tron's virtual machine is expected to be launched tomorrow, August 30th. TVM aims at providing millions of global developers with a custom-built system for blockchain that is efficient, developer-friendly, stable, secure and easy to optimize. And on August 29th, Tron announced that the Tron wallet is now available in the Apple Store. Tron is in 11th place with a market cap of well over 1 billion. It has been on an upward trend this week, but today we saw it suffer some small losses again. Now let's take a look at IOTA. On August 28th, IOTA tweeted about a new addition to its team. Janine Hartel has joined the mobility and automotive adoption team as a senior project manager. While it is nice to see more women getting involved in the crypto space. Janine said, I strongly believe in IOTA's technology and the vision of a machine-to-machine -machine ecosystem. Examples include vehicles paying for services on demand, such as in-car infotainment, delivery, parking on-site and off-site, driving through countries with toll roads, sharing electric power and software updates. Most of these ideas are still at an early prototype stage, but I am proud to be part of this change. On August 25th, IOTA announced the public beta release of the Trinity Desktop Wallet app. And Tokyo-based information technology firm Fujitsu recently revealed a partnership with the IOTA Foundation. They will launch an IOTA-based proof-of-concept process for audit trails across the manufacturing industry. Fujitsu released a paper discussing the details. It said Fujitsu is well-equipped to help roll out IOTA as the new protocol standard as we are experts in both IT services and the manufacturing of IT products. Thanks for watching and don't forget to share your thoughts and predictions in the comments below. See you tomorrow.